Hello everyone and welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking part in another open tag. We started by John over at Thrifty Kniffy and we're going to be doing a Super Sack Saturday. So the only thing really for that is show a Swiss Army knife on Saturday. Today we're going to be looking at one from Victorinox and this is actually their newest 2024 release. I picked up the Pioneer X so you can see it comes in this Alox limited edition box. You can see limited edition here. Victorinox on the side and then we have Pioneer X limited edition 2024 and then the model number for this one is 0.8231.L24. See the barcode here and some information about the company. Pretty standard stuff really for their limited edition model so this bit just slides off. This little tab on the front and then inside you have this little bit of information here which I'll pause for a sec if you want to read that. Just a bit of information about the three different knives that are, you know, in this sort of series for 2024. And this is in the Terra Brown Alox scales. Seen quite a bit of not so much controversial comments. A lot of people not enjoying this colour. And this is actually the first sort of year model I've picked up for Victorian Ox. A bit late to the game getting the limited editions. But I've really been enjoying this the colour of this one. I think it's a great colour. Nice earthy, earthy colour. Some people saying, you know, it's just brown. But I, there's a lot of gold undertones in there as well, which I'm really, really enjoying. I think it looks great in the natural sunlight. So we'll take a look at that now. So here it is. This is the 2024 for this year. You can see on the back here engraved on that nice little tab in the Terra Brown. But you can see under the light there is some sort of golden undertones to that. And I really do think it's a beautiful colour. Not sure what people are hating on it so much online. I think it's awesome. But it's a standard Pioneer X apart from that. So it's a 93mm model. And that equates to 1, 2, 3, 3.6, 3.7, maybe 3 and 3 quarters depending on how you look at it. But standard 93mm pattern. It's got this pressed uh, aluminium scales, the Alox, of course, and they're anodized to be this Serra Brown. You can see as well they've colour matched the inside of the shield there wonderfully, pretty much perfect. And we do have brass pins either end with a stainless pin in the middle holding it all together. The build quality, as you'd expect from Victorinox, is second to none. Literally no gapping at all, no blade rub, and that's pretty much all I'll settle for with Victorinox. If it's not perfect, I don't want it, and I've never had one that isn't. So it's just an outstanding quality control for them. You can see it is a three-layer design as well, the Pioneer X. Comes with the key ring on the back. Only gripe really from Victorinox is I wish they would use the smaller size they use on the on like the uh, the 58 millimeters, as this it's quite a big key ring for the size. It's nearly as wide as the whole knife, especially on like the two layer designs when they have a key ring on there. It's a bit big, but you know it does the job fine. Of course, being an Alox, there is no scale tools, so it's just nice and smooth, and no back tools either, so it feels great in the hand. Comes with the standard opening layer then, so. We have the tin opener with the small flathead screwdriver that can be used as a Phillips on the corner as well. Of course, that opens in a nice reassuring snap with a clean nail neck on there too. And of course, the standard Victorinox finish on all these blades. So it's like a, a mirror satin finish. You can see where it's been tumbled, then polished over the top. But you can see we've got a nice point on that tin opener as well, and you're going to have no trouble puncturing through a can with that. Really nice snap on the close too. Left hand side of the opening layer, we have the cap lifter with the larger flathead screwdriver and the wire stripper down there as well. Half stop on this one, just that extra bit of security when you're using the wire stripper, things like that stops it sort of closing on you. But again, nice clean nail nick. Could use this as a pry as well, you can see that little slope down bit here, wouldn't put too much pressure on it though because it is just pinned together. But again, nice stock on that tool, really nice walk and talk on that cap lifter as well nice snap reassuring snap as well next up we have the what makes it the pioneer x over the pioneer which is the scissors you can see we've got the pin style with the brass little pivot in there really nice edge on the scissors victorinox do a wonderful job still using the older style leaf spring there which is i mean it works fantastically well and i'm glad they're still using it and they've not sort of changed it up but if there's nothing wrong with it, why fix it? Perfect for around the office, small jobs you'd need scissors for. And anyone that carries a Victorian Ox, if they have scissors on it, I guarantee it's your most used tool on there. Just really comfortable. They're always really sharp out of the box. They spring back wonderfully. And of course, 
doesn't protrude out the top of the knife, just sits in there wonderfully flush, and you do have that nail nick on the front there to open them up. No half stop on this, but a nice strong lock up, about a seven on the break, and about a six on the open. Again, that nail nick on there too. Really great tool to have. Next up, we have the main blade. You can see we have the Victorinox Swiss made and stainless tang stamp, and then the reverse of that plain as all the ALOX models are. Edge, perfect, wouldn't expect anything less, their quality control is outstanding. Razor sharp out of the box. Nice clean nail nick on there, as long with the my fingerprint, as this is a fingerprint magnet. No swedging either, nice working blade, and as I've mentioned before, I really enjoy the knives when they just they're not sort of tampered or messed with, it's just how the blade was shaped, and they just put an edge on it. I think that's great. And again, that sort of polished, tumbled finish on the knife. Really wonderful. Nice little sharpening troil on there too. No half stop. Nice snap. About It's about a six to here, then it starts getting stronger, and then you definitely about a seven, and then definitely a seven up into the snap. And really, really, it's not going to break until about here. But you can hear the snap. It's not going to close on you anytime soon. And definitely a knife that I've used... Well, I use my Silver and Red Pioneer X, this one being a limited edition to a year. I think I may keep this for a safe queen and just start picking these up. Maybe I can get some older ones to go back to when they started. Really nice blade on this. So the full blade length then on the 93mm models is we have... Let's line that up. So tip to tang, we have 1, 2, 2.75 and then a cutting edge of 2.5. So a very UK legal knife, one that I'd have no issue carrying here. I don't know anyone that would be offended by a Swiss Army knife. They're just so comfortable in the hand. Very versatile and definitely get your job and your day done with one of these without any issues at all. And then finally on the back, we have the punch or the reamer. You can see that edge on there. Not razor sharp, but sharp enough to punch to what you want to use it for. Great for starting pilot holes in wood, plastic, things like that, or scoring. You can see you have that nice little tip on the end there as well. And what I have really used these for on my other Victorinox knives is if I pick up an older knife, you know, sometimes you get surface rust. I've used this to sort of scrape that surface rust off. It does a fantastic job of that. Again, no half stop on this or nail nick, but you can see this raised lip here sits on the inside of the scale here when it's closed, and then you would just use that to open the tool. But a wonderful knife, and honestly, really love the colour of this. I think it's great. Nice earthy colours. I actually prefer these to like the really bright, like the electric yellow one from, from last year. Wasn't a massive fan of. I probably will pick it up. But this and like the thunder grey ones I think were great. But there we go guys. That's my review of the 2024 Pioneer X in the Sarah Brown. Really hope you enjoy this. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.